Namaste dear learners, today we are going to do the Stewart Dees experiment and the main aim of this experiment is to find out how magnetic field varies along the axis of the circular coil and here we are going to verify the biotes avat law. So this experiment mainly consists of this entire one Stewart Dees apparatus, next one battery eliminator, this is the ammeter and this is commutator and this is deflection magnetometer deflection magnetometer DMM in simple and this is a plug key and uh, this one is a rheostat now we will come one by one about the apparatus first one this is Stewart Gee apparatus this consists of a scale around the scale we have a circular coil and coil is nothing but a more turns of a wire, conducting wire. So how many turns we are connecting will be there here. So if you connect it here, this is 5 turns. This refers to 50 turns. And if you connect the wire here, this refers to 500 turns. So this is and here you are going to have a mobile stand. So we are moving this along the axis of this circular coil. Now, this one is a commutator. This commutator used to change the direction of current. So, in general, keys are like this. Suppose if you change the position of a keys, the direction of current in the coil will be changed. Suppose, if in this direction, if the current is flowing in this way, and now, if we change it, that will be changes to the anti-clockwise direction. So, to change the direction of current, we are using the commutator. Now, the current is moving, how much current is flowing in the coil is represented with the ammeter. So this is a ammeter. Now plug key. So plug key is simply like a switch. So it's on, off. So it acts like a switch. And this one is a battery eliminator. So this battery eliminator is a source of electric field or source of current. And the next one this one is a deflection magnetometer so this one center consists of a small magnet with aluminium pointer so when you go on changing this so whenever the magnetic field is present so this one deflects more deflection refers to more magnetic field and this one is a rheostat so rheostat i think all of you may know that in your plus two so this is used to change the resistance and it's also called variable resistor so by moving the position of this upper one you can change the resistance now principle of this experiment when current is flowing in a circular path magnetic field will be developed along the axis and the magnetic field intensity decreases as you are moving away from the center and this is only taken as a biot savat law. So in simple the principle is biot savat law. Now we will see the formula of used in the experiment. Here we have two formulas. One is theoretical formula. Other one is practical or experimental. So experimental formula. experimental formula is B is equal to B e tan theta. This uh, formula taken from tangent law where B e is the earth's magnetic field. B e is earth's magnetic field and the value is 0 0.38 into 10 power minus 4 tesla. Now the theoretical value or theoretical formula is B is equal to mu naught n i a square by 2 into x square plus a square whole to the power of 3 by 2 where mu naught is permeability of free space is 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 newton ampere newton per ampere square now n re refers to number of turns in the coil 
I refers to current, A is the radius of the coil and here X is the distance of deflection magnetometer from the center. In this one, we have to verify the values, experimental value with the theoretical value. This is the circuit diagram of a Stewart Gies apparatus. So in this one, this refers to circular coil and this is the axis of the coil and this is the deflection magnetometer and uh, different number of uh, turns are displayed here and this four knobs is refers to commutator and here RH is the rheostat variable resistor and this E refers to energy that's what battery eliminator and ammeter and plug key these are the apparatus now we will see the connections so while doing connections everything you can take this one commutator as a centralized one so this zero turns is connected to one of the knob here and for the exactly opposite knob connected to number of turns what you want to connect so here we are doing for 50 turns so these two wires should be opposite now come to the next one take another knob of commutator and connect it to one end of plug key and other end of plug key is connected to positive of ammeter now negative of ammeter is connected to negative of battery eliminator now positive of battery eliminator is connected to one end of uh, rheostat and the other end of rheostat is connected to again the opposite knob of the commutator what we have connected here so all the connection part is over so before starting of experiment we should do small initial adjustments so first adjustment you must check here the zero of the axis scale should match with the center of the stand like this means we have placed the deflection magnetometer exactly at the center now after that you should place this uh, deflection magnetometer in such a way that the 0 and 0 are perpendicular to this circular coil so 0 0 reading should be like this like a pencil what I placed this is 2 and step 3 you should move the entire steward G apparatus in such a way that this aluminium pointer is matches with the 0 so move the entire steward G apparatus and match this pointer with a 0 like this and this is called placing our apparatus in a magnetic meridian position now we have placed it in magnetic meridian now in the experiment we will adjust the current so for that I am switching on the battery eliminator so you can fix any current here by using a rheostat so I want to fix it to the 0.25 amps as a current if we observe carefully so this is 10 divisions is divided into 0.5 amps so when I want to set it set it to the fifth division so that taken as a 0.25 so by moving the rheostat here the current is changed so by adjusting the rheostat you can get the current to 0.25 amps so now I have adjusted to 0.25 amps as the current so the current value is 0.25 the current we have taken is 0.25 amps number of turns previously we have connected to 50 turns and the radius of the coil so for this coil the radius is uh, 0 0.101 meters so don't get confused the values is in meters and mu naught is required in the formula that is 4.2 10 power minus 7 newton per ampere square so these are the initial observations now we will take the values of it now distance of deflection magnetometer from the coil in meter so we are placed the dmm initial at center so that's taken as a zero now we are not on east or west we are at center so theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 theta 4 on east are same as west in case of zero now we have placed the deflection magnetometer at the center now we are switching on I put the plug key here then the magnetic field will be developed 
in this direction means current is flowing in this direction so in this circular coil current is flowing in this so magnetic field will be acts in this direction now observe the dmm readings so dmm readings are Now the DMM readings are 73 and 73. Now write theta 1, theta 2 as 73, 73. Now using this commutator, change the direction of current like this. So remove the pins and put it in other two points. Now observe the direction of magnetic field is changed now magnetic field is acting in this direction so the direction of current is this so by using commutator we have changed the direction of the current and the, the uh, deflection is also changes now observe the readings in deflection magnetometer and that come out as 71.75 now enter theta 3 theta 4 as 71 71 as we are at the center the side also we are going to have same values now move the deflection magnetometer 3 centimeters east 1 2 3 centimeters so i have moved the deflection magnetometer 3 centimeters east after moving 3 centimeters on east side the readings come out as 71 71 now here you can write second one and we should enter the readings in meters so it's a 0 0.03 meters and theta 1 theta 2 are 71 71 now using commutator change the direction of current for theta 3 theta 4 values so i have changed it now observe the dmm now the values are 69 69 and 69 so here theta 3 theta 4 values are 69 69 and similarly you should move the dmm towards east at 6 centimeters that's what 0 0.06 meters 0 0.09 meters and 0 0.12 meters and similarly using a commutator change the direction of current and take theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 theta so we need to take the readings at 3 cm, 6 cm, 9 cm, 12 cm on the east side. By changing the direction you can go for theta 3, theta 4 values. And similarly we should move the deflection magnetometer on the west side 3 cm. Now I am moving this DMM deflection magnetometer towards west 3 cm. 1, 2, and 3 centimeters now at 3 centimeters west side the readings of dmm are 70 71 so theta 1 theta 2 are you can say 70 71 using commutator change the direction of current by changing the pins now observe the values in deflection magnetometer. Now the values on DMM west side 3 centimeters is it's a 68 and 68 centimeters. Sorry, degrees. 68, 68 will be the theta 3, theta 4 values. In the similar way, we should move the deflection magnetometer on west side 6 centimeters, 9 centimeters, and 12 centimeters 
and by using commutator change the direction of current and take this theta values now these are the recorded values for the east side and these are the recorded values for the west side now we should move to the calculation now in this one we should write the average of all these four values this come out as 72 and similarly here in this column you need to write the average value of these four west side values this also come out as 72 now in this column you should write the average value of theta from east and west so it's a simple average of 72 and 72 come out as 72 now tan theta is a it's a tan value of this average means it's a tan 72 that is 3.0776 in the next column we should write b is equal to be tan theta where be is the earth magnetic field the value is 0 0.38 into 10 power minus 4 tesla now multiply this tan theta with earth's magnetic field this come out as 1.1695 into 10 power minus 4 now we should calculate the b that is so mu naught n i a square by 2 into x square plus a square whole to the power of 3 by 2 now the last column should be calculated with the formula already explained it before mu naught 4 pi 4 into 3.14 into 10 power minus 7 into n number of turns 50 into i current so 0 0.25 into a is the radius of the coil in meters that's 0 0.101 square by 2 into x is the distance from uh, center distance of dmm deflection magnetometer from the center that's a zero plus because already we are at center so we are taken as zero and again one so 0 0.101 square whole to the power of 3 by 2 now by solving this in numerator this come out as 1.60155 into 10 power minus 7 by the denominator 2.0606 into 10 power minus 3 this value come out as 0 0.77 into 10 power minus 4 tesla so here you can write 0 0.77 into 10 power minus 4 tesla so these values are almost near so similarly calculate the value for all these values So before drawing a graph we should make a small tabular form that consists of x the distance of deflection magnetometer from the center and the average value of east theta and the tan theta of the east now take a west these are the average values of theta in the west side and tan theta w that's tan theta west Now we should draw the graph between the values distance of deflection magnetometer from the center let it be you can take this one as east east side values and this you can take it as west side values take it as its center 0 and on y axis take the tan theta. Now in a graph mark all the points that's what tan theta east and tan theta west after making it you should mark a point exactly at 0 0.72 of maximum means this maximum so somewhere here you should draw a line and that line touches the graph I mean touches this line now exactly down the now this value should be almost equal to radius let's check it so it's a 6 centimeters or 0 0.06 meters on this side 
and this side that's around 4.5 it's 4.5 this side and 6 centimeters total 10.5 centimeter so this will be the radius of the coil in this experiment the first check is you we should compare the experimental value with the theoretical value this is one thing and other thing in the graph we should the 0.72 times of a maximum value this value should give us the near to the radius of the coil so these two things we should write it as a result in the experiment and come to the precautions of the experiment the first and foremost important precaution is we must place the steward apparatus in magnetic meridian that's very important after that and another precaution while observing the values in deflection magnetometer we should observe without any parallax error and another precaution while performing the experiment near to deflection magnetometer we should not heavy uh, we should not have any electronic or electrical gadgets something like your mobile phones or battery eliminator ammeter should not be near to this so this will disturb the magnetic field here so keep all these apparatus away from the dmm so all these apparatus should be away from the deflection magnetometer so these are the major precautions in the experiment So this is Stewart's experiment happy learning